Today, we're going to walk through file recovery and disaster recovery in a SUNY environment. Files, even entire volumes, can be recovered in minutes with Nasuni, and fast recovery means a quicker return to productivity for end users. Not to mention no working over the weekend to restore file access for administrators. And when downtimes can cost your business thousands of dollars per minute, the speed of recovery really matters. Within the Nasuni management console here, in the file browser, we can roll back individual resources to any point in time since the volume was made. For this volume in my environment, I created on February 22nd of 2023, so I can roll back to any point in time that changes were made in the environment. Restoring entire directories or volumes, regardless of size here, is near instantaneous in an ensued environment because that restore process simply involves reorganization of the metadata pointers in the cloud object store. In fact, one of my SA counterparts recorded a petabyte of data being restored in 27 seconds, enabled by that agility of the UniFS file system. If we go into the file browser here, into one of my edge appliances, we can delete one of the say the Jim Halpert share off the edge appliance. With the share gone, we can go to the volumes tab and snapshot that to make sure that those changes are marked within the file system. What this process does is on each edge appliance, it will mark all those changes. For example, the deletion of that file and sync them to the cloud as the new current version of the file system. So that when we go back in to our edge appliances here within corporate, the Jim Halpert folder is gone. The restore process is very quick as well. So within the file browser, again, back to this tab, if we select the volume and our edge appliance, we can see in our current version, We dive into the test that the Jim Halpert share is not here. If we go back to one of our previous versions, say 2.13 PM today, that Jim Halpert share is there. So what we can do is restore this folder to that point in time so that those that resource, again, exists in the primary version of the file system. So we can take our original folder, we don't need to back up the existing, and restore that to the current version of the file system. The restore process, again, is just those metadata pointers within the cloud, so it can go very quickly. The restores in general are um, under 30 seconds, no matter the size of the restore. There, the restore is finished here. So if we go back to the current version of the file system, we can see that the Jim Halpert folder is back. And if we go into the corporate filer, the Jim Halpert folder is there again. And all the folders that are within it are back and accessible. Because Nasuni architecture is a hub and spoke model with the data, the metadata, and all the versions living as immutable objects within the object store, and the access points being these stateless edge cache VMs, the DR process couldn't be easier or faster. For a high availability situation, many of our customers hide multiple of these edge appliances behind a DFS namespace to have a seamless failover in the event of a lost appliance. But spinning up a new stateless VM within another data center or the public cloud is as easy as spinning up any VM within your virtualized or cloud environment. Let's walk through that process now. For this instance, I spun up this Nasuni Edge Appliance 7 VM within my GCP environment via a template found in the marketplace. These templates also exist in both the marketplaces for Azure and AWS, as well as downloadable OVFs and VHDs for VMware and Hyper-V platforms. After spinning up this Edge appliance, the process simply involves logging into your Nasuni account, gathering the serial number and authorization code for your Edge appliance licenses, checking a few more pieces during the wizard-driven process that will automatically populate when you type in the IP address here, and configuring some directory services, as well as network configurations. After that is complete, as I've done for this Edge Appliance, you can go into the Nasuni Management Console to your volumes and connect the Edge Appliance to the volume. 
As you can see here, the Nasuni edge, the new one, number seven, has populated within my Nasuni environment, and we can select that to connect that filer to the volume. Instantly, because these edge appliances are just a view into the file system that is residing within the hyperscalers object store, upon spinning up these VMs, each user will immediately have the full view of the file system that they have permissions to see. So if we want to go into our Windows File Explorer, we can look up these IP addresses. of the edge appliance and find them and we will automatically get the entire view of the file system here. So we are within the IP address of the new edge appliance seven and we can see our test volume here and our entire share. If we want to move into the one of our other edge appliances that already exists like our corporate file share, we can see the exact same shares are populated as well. In a world where data carries value, time without it can be costly. And in a SUNY environment, the lost time is minimized. And the RPO and RTO times are drastically decreased, with RPOs as little as one minute, and RTOs as in as quickly as you can spin up a virtual machine and map a drive to your end users.